Hey everyone, it's been so long since I've done a video, like last time I did one was when I originally cut my hair, so I kind of owe you guys because I just haven't had time. A levels are getting the better of me to be honest and the last couple of weeks it's been really hectic so I haven't had like, I, I'm not joking, I really have not had the time to do a video at all. I've had performances for PA and work coming out my ears and because in two days it's my operation I've had to like make sure I'm desperately on top of everything before I go in so yeah um I was gonna talk because I'm quite happy I'm really happy you can't even see on this camera this is so depressing I dyed my hair um oh I should have really got the pot it's only there I'll go grab it hang on oh Right, okay. I dyed my hair with this. Woo! Manic Panic. And I dyed it with Hot Hot Pink, as you can see. And, like, it's not even coming up. But, like, you can see it's kind of pink. In here it looks kind of like, it just looks like magenta. Like, if you googled magenta, you would get this colour. And that's basically it. And it's kind of a darkish magenta and my hair's kind of come out that colour but you can't see. My hair has literally come out the colour it is in the pot, to be honest. But it's not true to the camera. So, and I ordered it off Amazon. Well, my mum ordered it off Amazon. And I got the amplified one because it's meant to last longer. But I was really disappointed because I ordered it and it said that it came with a tinting brush and it hasn't come with the tinting brush. And that was really a waste of money because I could have got this up Camden for £10. So I paid £12 with free delivery, obviously, for this with the tinting brush, which was hot pink, which should have matched, and it didn't come. I'm really upset. Trust me. And then I had to go out and buy a tinting brush, like... Uh, basically, I decided that on Saturday I was going to dye my hair and everything because I ordered it on the Sunday the week before. So I was like, yeah, on Saturday I'll dye my hair because I'm going out and yeah. So I thought, yeah, I'll dye my hair. And then it got sent to the de uh, the depot and I was just like, oh, you've got to be kidding me. So I had to go get Paul to go pick it up. And this party, right, started at 730 and I didn't manage to get there until like 8 o'clock because I had to sit with this hair dye on for two and a half hours and Paul didn't get home till three. And I had to get ready and do my hair and my makeup and wash this hair dye off. And obviously it took an hour to put this hair dye on. So from three o'clock to four o'clock I was fucking putting it on and then I didn't take it off till half past six. So that's basically been my hair dye story but it was really it was worth it and considering I've got really short hair I have really really thick hair I've only used like I've used about half to three quarter three quarters of a pot and I have really really thick hair for short hair I'm not joking I have so much hair it's just like wee but yeah anyway so that's my hair dye story and I think as soon as it starts to fade, like, really noticeably, that's when I'm going to start trying to maintain it and I'll let everybody know what I'm going to do with that. So, stay tuned. Um, another thing, my nose ring. Oh, my God. I just... This piercing is the worst thing that I could have possibly put on my face. Okay. Basically, I'll show you what style I've got in at the moment. It's, like, glittery and pink and... It's huge. Like... Oh god, it's really awkward to... I'm trying to work out what way to turn my head. Yeah, you can see that the ball on that is huge. Like, that is humongous. And, yeah. Anyway, so, that thing is mahoosive, but I'm not taking it out. Not after... No, I'm just not. So basically, when I pierced it, I got it pierced by a needle, and... They put in this stud here, and it's I'm sh I'm not showing you like from the yeah. So that stud there, it's just a normal regular stud, but it's got a corkscrew. So I've turned it upside down so you can see, and you can see that's pretty thick. Not too bad, I guess, but it's pretty thick. 
and I like I waited for ages because I had so many problems with it so I just waited and I was petrified to take it out and then I did is at Christmas time like just before Christmas and then for Christmas I got given this set by my boyfriend and he got me a set of three and they're all different but kind of similar but this one's like more like an L shape like ta da and I'm not gonna lie it was the worst decision that I made to put this in because let me just compare the thickness of the two okay that's the one they pierced it with and this is the other one you can see a huge difference like that's big so basically then I, di I didn't even realize and I got given one by my mummy which is a straight stud they're just easy to put in like dead straight and that's kind of like in between both of the thicknesses because like god this is so hard to do right it's thicker than this one but it's not quite as thick as this one so yeah and that hurt so much to get in I'm not even joking now I've got like a couple of straight studs that are really really thin and you literally just like go and it's in like it's nothing it's just like putting an earring in like I could put this in my ear like easily right now if I can even find my hole look that's in within seconds right that's literally what it's like and I've had my ears pierced since I was two so it was literally like that but then I got like I was like oh yeah 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 got to a point and I was like oh my god that hurts so much I do not know why my nose was just like um, no but it was so I just put it in there anyway I just pushed it and it went through and it didn't hurt after that it was really strange and like then it got all infected and stuff and it's just not nice and like I had to keep cleaning it and so then today, well no, yesterday I tried to put in like a corkscrew but like a really really thin corkscrew because I thought, I'm sorry, I'm just having problems at the moment and if I have a corkscrew in it I won't be tempted to play with it or anything so yeah, I decided to do that because I thought that was sensible um, and I put in this one because it was a little flower and my mum couldn't get it in and I wanted to try and get it in to make her jealous so it's a little it, do you know what this reminds me of like those things that you used to get when you were a kid and you used to like spin them in your hair and yeah but anyway <laughs> um, so yeah and I managed to get it in and as you can see this is another really really thin one like the one that's an L basically it's the same thickness as that they're the same company so yeah and that was good I guess I mean I was really happy that I got that in so then I thought oh you know what I'll try and put the one that I got it pierced with in originally if I'm going to put a corkscrew in because that flower just looked huge on my face it just looked massive and I was just like Ugh. so then I tried to put this one in and I couldn't get it in and it hurt a lot so I pushed it and I pushed it and I pushed it and then it finally like because when you put a corkscrew you have to get this curvy bit in first so it literally like that and oh my god and it would not go through the other side like it was in but it wasn't through inside and you can't push it any further until it's in and it just wouldn't go so I pushed it and then it made this horrible like sort of pop that's not even a pop noise that's just a click um like that and it was just like Ugh. and it hurt but like I, was, I just kept deep breathing I was just like <sighs> every time I pushed it like I was breathing out like <sighs> and like it went through and then I twisted it in and just like left it and thought this this is hurting took it out put a straight one in just like can't do it so today I tried to put this one in and I had to do exactly the same thing and I realised that this one is actually thicker than the other one so this is like the thickest nose that I own 
right and it's not even mine it's my mom's and she's never worn this because she's never been able to get it in and this hurt so much to put in like i'm not even joking so i mean like it's, it's not like unbearable pain but it just hurts like it's not pleasant i mean if i try to get it out ah oh. hang on i'll try and get it out you'll see what i mean you have to like twist these bastards out of your nose Like, yeah. I'm not taking it out any further than that. But I'll come up close now. You can see how thick that thing is. And to try and get that back in, you have to, like, proper... Like, twist it. It's really difficult to do. So, I managed to do that. And I am not changing it for love nor money because it hurt... And I've decided to keep this one in now because it's Valentine's Day and it's glittery and it's pink. And why not have glittery and pink things on Valentine's Day? Um, another thing I've got to talk about is on Friday. Yeah, Friday. Um, Friday, my mum won tickets for, for a special show of the Women in Black film. And it was at the vault in London, like right next to Waterloo Station. And um, it was like, it basically it was this thing by the Flickr Club where they were showing Hammer Horror films. So that was amazing. Like, it's a really good film. I've never even seen the play or anything, so I can't really like comment on it or anything like that. But yeah, it, it was good. Like, it was good. Um, it was really fun. And uh, there was a guest speaker and the woman who actually played the woman in black read a like read a passage from the book um, which was really really good um, her name's Liz White and she read it I don't know if anyone videoed it or anything so you might be able to find that on the internet so that was really really good she was really she she seemed nice i didn't get her autograph or anything it was just too much effort and i was really really tired and didn't finish till like 10 so yeah um so that was really really good um and that was like my early valentine's present so you were tying into valentine's day yeah um and then i thought that as well as taking bruce to go see that I would get him something. I regret ever saying that. Because I asked my mum to pick me up this teddy bear. Okay. And it's a monkey and it says I'm bananas for you. And it holds a little banana. It's like. Right. So I asked her to pick it up for me. And she went to go get it. And they, didn't, they only had one left. And I really feel sorry because she didn't even call me. She just picked this one up and it was gift wrapped with a mug, a notepad, a pen and some box with loads of hearts on it but that doesn't have anything in it. I don't understand the purpose of this but anyway. And that cost her like 12 quid. I don't, I don't, actually it might be more than that. I don't know. I honestly don't know. She didn't tell me. She just gave it to me and was like, ooh. And I found out that she queued 20 minutes for this monkey. If I'd have found out that, I would have just been like, do not bother. I will just tell him that I'll pay for the cinema ticket or something. Like, it was just not worth that effort. I'm sorry. And like, okay, he's going to appreciate it. Because he keeps on going on about this fucking monkey. But, oh my god. I don't even know what I'm getting for Valentine's Day, and I'm glad. Like, he, he doesn't know what I've got him. So, you know what? Whatever, I'm not even bothered. Um, okay, I'm bothered a bit. I know I'm getting small things, and then I'm being taken out for dinner tomorrow night. I've never been taken out before. I feel really privileged. <laughs> it's really cheesy. I've never been on a date or anything. That's really awkward, actually. Hmm. And I'm meant to be choosing where we're going. And I don't know where I want to go because I'm a bit awkward. I mean, I might just get him to order in a pizza or something. 
because I don't really like much. Like, I eat Italian food all the time when I go out, so don't want to do that. And then, like, I had an Indian, like, two weeks ago, and it was really nice, but I just can't be bothered to go to my favourite Indian restaurant because it's, like, two bus journeys away. And it's not even that long, but I just can't be bothered. And then, there's just, I don't like Chinese. I don't eat Chinese food, so there's another issue. So I have to come up with a place to eat tomorrow night, out of the blue. I'm thinking Nando's because I like my chicken, but I had chicken last night. So this is my dilemma, right? The only place that I would actually genuinely be like, yeah, let's go Nando's. I probably won't end up going because I had chicken for dinner last night and I've probably got it tonight. So it's weighing up my options. And I want to have something good tomorrow night because then I go in on Thursday morning. And I'm not allowed to eat past midnight on Wednesday night. So I want to have a good meal. Hmm. Post your suggestions in the comments. Please. I get hungry and I don't want to not eat. So. Yeah. So that's basically that. I'm trying to think of things. I don't know if it was if if I mentioned in my last video or not because I'm just I I don't know what I say in these videos anymore. My I I got an iPhone for Christmas, yay! And it was all fun, and I looked after it, and I was like, I'm determined, and yeah, it's my baby. Okay, you can you can kind of see. But. And some kid at school, like a year seven, came running past me and bashed into me while I was texting my mum. And I had it in my hand and it went like that, like straight onto the floor. As well as me going straight onto the floor like, Ugh. And I, I, it's one of those moments where you're just like, I don't want to look. I just don't want to look. I knew it was going to be broken and I picked it up. And this is the state of my phone right now. It's got a huge ass crack down the middle and loads of little ones and the front camera's completely smashed. And it's got a huge air bubble because that's where my screen cover is because the glass otherwise is just going to fall out. And I've had to sellotape the screen cover to the back of my phone so it just doesn't come off. So that's basically my phone right now. Now, it does have, it did have, it does have a case on it at the moment it's just upstairs and every time I have to take my case off so that I can charge it because it covers this bit so and it's just been on charge so that's that yeah so basically that's that um yeah for people who are wondering what I'm having done on Thursday I'm having my tonsils taken out so that's why you're not going to be hearing from me for a while um because yeah, it's going to hurt and I'm not going to want to talk and just know. <laughs> mm. Hopefully that'll be alright though. And then after I get my tonsils out, obviously not like straight after because that would be mental, but like maybe a week or two's time, depending on how quickly I recover and all of that, I'm going to get my belly button pierced because I was meant to get it done before Christmas because it was meant to be my Christmas present like my boyfriend was going to pay half and then I was going to pay half and never got around to it and then it got to the point where it was like if I get it done now it's not going to heal and I have to take I have to take all my piercings out for this fucking operation so yeah basically that's that and so I'm going to get it done in two weeks two three weeks I don't, I, like, I'm not allowed out for two weeks after, so probably not the first two weeks. Maybe two, three weeks time then, but yeah. So I'm looking forward to that. And I'll keep everybody updated, and that'll be my one, two, three, fifth piercing. And I'm going to get, I'm not, yeah, so, yeah, five piercings. Exciting. It's not very exciting, really, but, yeah. Mmm. Um, so that's basically that and I would like to say happy Valentine's Day to everyone um, 
I, in obviously because I've got time to think about it and time to surf through all your comments and that when I'm in hospital and well when I'm home and recovering. Um, I want to know what sort of videos that people want to see. Do people want to hear about my piercings? Do people want to know about school? My hair, how I do my hair. I was going to do a hair tutorial, but I thought, oh my god, that takes forever. But yeah, I can run you guys through my hair quickly, actually. Basically, put the dye on, like with a tinting brush. Like my mum separated it all and put it on. And I wrapped my head in cling film and sat for two and a half hours. And about ten minutes before the two and a half hours was up, I got a hair dryer. Didn't take the cling film off or anything. Hair dried my hair. Um, because it says on the back, la la la, um, on the side actually, where is it, ah, for added intensity heat may be used, and that basically means just adding heat, so I hair dried it, and yeah, that was that and then washed it out and that was it I didn't bleach my hair or anything by the way it just turned out proper bright if I'd have bleached my hair it would have come out like this pink so this is actually really hot pink and it's coming out really weird but yeah um, I'm trying to think of things I can update you on because I haven't really done much actually um, I'm trying to think of stuff. My PA performance on Jack the Ripper went well. That actually went really cool. Um, and I think that I'm hoping that I got a good grade. I'm so hoping. I'm just fingers crossed. I'm really rubbish at acting though, so that's probably gone down. Oh, my hair. Yeah, I, I, because it was cut wrong, I'm really happy because my mum keeps trimming the back for me and I, because this side was cut so short, I've been growing that and that's gone to like an alright length now, like for short hair, I'm quite happy with that, to be honest, like the back's getting long again, but oh well, you get my general gist. And the side was cut so short, but now it's kind of getting to the length I want it to be, like I want it to be like literally like just hitting the jawline so it's not far off and that's only taken a month and it was like it was like here so it shouldn't take too long actually and I'm really happy with it and I love the colour and oh I just I, I love my hair now I'm so happy with it so yeah uh, I'm trying to think this video has gone on for way too long so I'm just going to end it here if I've forgotten anything I can make a new vlog anyway it doesn't matter, it doesn't bother me so I'm off I hope you all have had a good Valentine's Day so far and if you're doing anything this evening I hope you have a very good evening um, anyone who's single I love you you won't be forever alone I promise oh and a pen and nails red even though they look purple this camera is so rubbish that raspberry red by very um it's a substantially okay nail polish my nails keep breaking by the way so I, I don't bite them anymore they just break so what can you do but um yeah I hope you all have a really really good Valentine's Day and I will speak to you in a few weeks time if I don't speak to you tomorrow Sounds like I'm having a phone conversation with, with someone, but yeah. Alright, so I hope you all have a great day, and um, I will keep you guys updated on my channel. Okay, love yous, bye.